Marketing TV. Today we're going to be diving into Hive 2 and making some music with it. Before we get going, here is a preview. So I plan to stick mostly to presets. Let's go ahead and dive right in, shall we? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Hive 2. There has been an update. I am actually working on Hive 2.1.1, which has introduced a few extra filter types along with some new presets. So let's go over to the presets. And in here, we can actually go and look for the new ones. If you go to the Hive Factory 2.1, See, there's a hundred new sounds. So let's go ahead, let's, uh, let's dig through some of these, shall we? Sure, I've already got kind of a vibe of what I wanna do with that. So let's go ahead, let's come up with a chord progression. All right, now that we have our chords down, sort of played them in, let's go, let's clean it up a little bit. Okay, with the chords done, let's go ahead, let's find ourselves another hive. All right, loaded up another hive. This one, I'm looking for a layer to sort of go nicely with the strings, and we're gonna dig through the newer presets again, get a vibe for some of these sounds. Uh, this one's a sequence, so that's kind of promising. Oh, well, there we go. Let's, uh, let's see how that sounds. That's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and let's just send it through a parametric equalizer real quick. And in the effects, let's go to the verb and let's pump this up a little bit. Cool, I'm gonna go ahead, find some drums real quick, and I'm gonna toss down something that would be akin to something I would like to run to. So let me really quick get a drum groove going. All right, I've got a basic drum groove going here. Still working on mixing and things of that nature, but we've got the basic sketch down. What I'd like to do here is add a bass to get a bit more of a vibe for what I'm kind of going for here. I already kind of have a residency base kind of in mind. So since I know I'm looking for a base, I'm just gonna go to the basis folder and just dig around. Let's go down an octave. Oh, maybe. Uh, let me come up with a bass line here. Thank you. 
Okay, not so sure about that second pattern that I played, but definitely liked the first one. Um, we shall see. So let me go ahead. Let me come in here really quick, clean up what I played. All right, so I've gone through, I've cleaned up the pattern. Now, something that I want to change a bit about how just this patch works is the filter is pretty aggressive for the range that I'm playing. For the legato. It's just a bit soft. So what I'm gonna do is I took a look here and I see the mod envelope is hooked up to this. So I'm simply going to raise the sustain a little bit uh, just to keep the filter a little more open for those other sections. Looking at this, I actually think it would be pretty cool to automate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an automation clip for it, and I'm going to write in some expression. All right, and to top things off for what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to look for something that can provide us a melody. So let's go ahead, we'll load up another hive. And this time we're gonna go in and we're going to, we're gonna check out some more of these new presets. Let's just, uh, let's just see what we got. Oh, well, okay. Cool sound, it's got like a sequence or something. Oh. I actually really, really like this sound. I'm, I'm gonna put this in a favorite category. So I keep three, right now I'm keeping three as bases. I've only started recently favoriting stuff inside of Hive, uh, but they give you eight categories to do this with, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna put it in two. I guess I'll make two my leads. And uh, yeah, so with that, let's go ahead. I'm gonna figure out a melody and put it on here. Okay, uh, just fiddling around with it a little bit. I've already got an idea of kind of what I want to do. I may not even just cut that out. That was pretty all right. And I'm going to go over to the effects. We're going to look at the reverb real quick. I may opt because it might just be a little more useful to have it in post. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to send this to a track. We're going to toss a pro R on this. And uh, I really want. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I really like this sound. It's a great sound. I'm kind of a sucker for flute kinds of sounds. Okay, uh, let me figure something out and we'll record it in. Some cool stuff in there to go in and clean up a couple spots where my midi controller got a bit funny with some of the chords i was trying to do uh, but overall pretty strong idea got some strong motifs and this is stuff i usually don't typically like to quantize directly i do kind of what i did with the bass i go in and i i touch up specific notes one at a time kind of look for stuff because you might have overlapping stuff that's kind of important for the way the synth plays or might change how it feels a little bit. And so quantizing this stuff is always a little bit more of a, a tricky business. Typically I like to do it by hand. Mm -hmm. 
That's, see, I feel, it feels early, but I don't want to necessarily be right on it. A little bit before is fine. That right there too. And then why I'm here, oh, I hit the save. Okay, we'll call this the Hive Synth Wave, bruh. I don't know, don't have a good name yet. So definitely could see tossing some vocals on this. But yeah, that's the general process. Something that I think we could possibly do here. Uh, I'd really like to pump verb up at certain times. I think this would be a good chance for Timeless 3 to make an appearance. So let me um, go into the audio here and increase my buffer to a little bit more than one, one millisecond. Because it's going to have a hard time with this. So we'll go up to like 256. And it popped up on the other screen. That's why I didn't see that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a Timeless 3. Kind of an interesting thing. This is one of the things I like to do with it. Is to grab the taps. Randomize them. And then automate the feedback. So let's go ahead and do that. And just mess with it on these first few notes. And that's just a... Uh, have the feedback all the way down. Right here it'll come up and then we'll go back down. Right here too could be kind of interesting. Have it ring out a bit more. You hear that echo? Now, uh, let me go ahead and solo it. A little bit easier to hear. See this one, I don't have the sustain up for long enough, so you don't get the, a nice full washed out effect. Maybe not all the way down. And then here, okay, that might be a bit long to have it up, so maybe we start taming it a little bit sooner, and we'll turn up the diffusion. Finding that sweet spot. We don't want it all the way off. See, now this could be really touchy because if you don't do it just right, you'll get something that's like really washed out. It's like you, you got to find the exact right setting. Otherwise, you get too washed out. But if you don't have it enough, then you don't have enough of that space. And it's a really kind of cool effect. it like ring out over here and then we'll dip it down quite a bit more let me come back up i'm going kind of fast right now just for the sake of I know I'm being recorded. <laughs> that needs to be cleaned up. Uh, but you get the idea. I think I'm going to call it here because... This is at the point where I've got a lot of the parts just to just start getting things to work together a little bit nicer. I definitely want to experiment with some different drum ideas, but I think the general vibe of the drums is kind of sort of where I want it. I reverbed out the snare. I don't remember if I should doing that or not. I believe I, I left all the drum editing out. Uh, but yeah, so this is where we are going to end. So this will be the preview at the beginning.
So if you own Hive 2 and you have not yet updated, go ahead, go get that update. There's some cool stuff in there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. And have a blessed day.